We haven't. Nor that data is fully comparable to physical assets. It is not. But my life experience allows me to see what's hiding in the plain sight. Currently, the public discourse is so focused on the regulatory and privacy issue when it comes to data ownership. But I want to ask: What if we look at data ownership in a completely different ways? What if data ownership is, in fact, is personal, individual, and economic issue? What if, in the new digital economy, we are allowed to own a piece of what we create and give people the liberty of private, private data ownership? The legal concept of ownership is when you can possess, use, gift, pass on, destroy, or trade it or sell it, your asset, at a price accepted by you. What if we give that same definition to individuals' data, so individuals can use or destroy our data, or we trade at our chosen price? Now I know some of you might say, "I would never ever." Trade my data for any amount of money, but that, let me remind you, is exactly what you're doing now. Except you're giving your data away for free. Plus, privacy is a very personal and nuanced issue. You might have the privilege to prioritize your privacy over money, but for millions of small business owners in China who can't get bank loans easily, using their data to gain rapid loan approval from AI-powered lenders can answer their more pressing needs. What's private to you is different from what's private to the others. What's private to you now is different from what was private when you were in college, or at least I hope so. <laughs> We are always, although often subconsciously, making such trade-offs based on our diverse personal beliefs and life priorities. That is why data ownership will be incomplete without a pricing power. By assigning pricing power to individuals, we gain a tool to reflect our personal and nuanced preferences. So, for example, you could choose to donate your data for free if contribution to a you know, particular medical research that's very meaningful for you. Or if we have the tools to set our behavior data at a price of, say, 100,000 U.S. dollars, I doubt any political group will be able to target and manipulate your vote. You control. You decide. Now I know this sounds probably implausible, but trends are already pointing to a growing and very powerful individual data ownership movement. First, startups are already creating tools to allow us to take back some control. A new browser called Brave empowers users with Brave Shield, they literally call that, by aggressively blocking data-grabbing ads and trackers. And avoid leaking data like other browsers. In return, users can take back some bargaining and pricing power. When users opt in to accept ads, Brave rewards users with basic attention token that can redeem content behind paywall from publishers. And I've been using Brave for a few months. You have already blocked more than 200,000 ads and, and trackers, and、um, saved hours of my time. Now I know some of you interact with your browser more than with your partners, so 